this is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you all for tuning in. Great Man Tactical sent me a sample to try out and it's one of the RMP, the Rigid Molly Plates. Now this one is a backpack sized insert. So right here, we're looking at the Gray Man Tactical 12.25 by 17 RMP. That stands for the Rigid Molly Panel. I also got a couple Gray Man Tactical stickers, which will look awesome on the gun safe. And then I have a couple cinch straps right here, double-sided Velcro. We will figure out how to mount some things up to the 12.25 by 17 RMP. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out of the bag now and just take a look at it. All right, so here it is. This thing is actually thick. You guys can see how thick that is. It's not like a thin piece of plastic. It's, yeah, they're, it's no doubt rigid. So the name Rigid Molly Panel definitely fits. So essentially you have, this, you have these Molly attachment holes right here and you can pretty much do whatever you want. Let's take a look at some of the straps as well. So I got three Velcro straps right there. I also got a carry handle. So let's go ahead and attach the carry handle. Now we have a carry handle attached to the rigid Molly panel. And then of course I have this Velcro roll right here that I got with it. Let's see if I have anything to attach to this. So of course, depending on size, you could put some pretty unique things on here like this little Titman 22. Um, at an angle, of course, I wanna be able to fit it inside my backpack too, which is the point of this. So yeah, this guy, if I just wanna carry this, I could strap it in at an angle, and then um, I can attach the suppressor on here, whichever, or even you can attach your standard Molly gear to this too. I have this little EDC pouch from Zero Hour that my wife got me for Christmas. It's kind of cool. It's got some neat features in it. I really haven't reviewed it or looked at it, but it's like an accessory pouch. So let's see, let's take this guy. So now we have this EDC pouch mounted to the rigid Molly panel. Let's see what else we could put on here. So right here, I actually have this Blade Tech double stack magazine holder. Let's find a home for this as well. So I'm gonna use one of these guys and I'm gonna put it through here, pull up top, and then I'm gonna take this magazine holder right there, boom. Put it down, I'll strap this through, make it nice and tight, and then Velcro it down. Of course, you just take this, snap it in, and then lock it. Now I have a double stack magazine holder mounted to this too. So far we got this and this. Let's add it. Get it set up, you could take this, put it inside a bag, and bada bing, bada boom, look at that. How sweet is that? So right here inside my backpack, you have this RMP insert. You could pull it right out. Here it is, this entire insert just goes right inside your bag. Now you can put anything you want. It's a rigid plate, very thick material, but not that heavy. So you can see right here, I even have some zip ties holding some stuff on, otherwise, you can use Velcro, like here's just a strip of double-sided Velcro. I'm using some of the Velcro cinch straps to hold on the knife, my, my little mini K-bar right there, and then a couple magazine or Kydex magazine pouches. Yes, I know there is an Uncle Mike's holster on there. I just thought it's good because that makes it universal. I can put any kind of handgun I want inside this thing now. You don't have to just put firearm accessories and tactical accessories. You can put camera accessories on it. You can put microphones. I plan on taking this thing to the Gundy's in Texas, and I'll be traveling to Texas from Arizona. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up for my travels. So right here, I'll probably keep this and just use that as like a kit, you know, some essentials. And I'll probably even maybe mount some camera stuff to it. Um, Cause I'm gonna be walking around the Gundy's as well. So I'll probably mount some cameras, even maybe a camera pouch. I can just 
clip it right onto this thing. So it's pretty cool. Overall impressions are it's very heavy duty. And if you look at the back, how many mounting possibilities, even through these side slots, these little holes in the side, and of course the actual molly, the rigid molly part, you can mount anything. You can use zip ties, you can use the Velcro, just about anything you want, any configuration you want. I'm taking this thing to the Gundy's and let's see how well it holds up and see how convenient it really makes things. All right, so I'm traveling to the Gundy's right now and I'm in the airport. So I did configure the Grayman Tactical RMP for travel the best I could, but um, it, it's working out pretty good, let me show you. So right here we have two of the zero hour EDC kits. This one right here is full of my chargers, phone chargers, cables, all that. And this one is full of my swag or shot show. Sorry, this one's full of swag for the Gundy. So, you know, business cards, business cards, patches, etc., stickers. And then I have my camera shotgun microphone right here, strapped down to this panel with a Velcro. And it's protected in here because this part of the bag is soft. So. This Gray Man tactical stuff is pretty cool. I took the RMP to San Antonio and over to the Gundy's. It worked out perfectly. What I did was I actually used the RMP to hold travel stuff. So since it did maintain a very rigid structure, it actually kept my backpack from you know turning into a giant bubble when I stuffed it with uh, clothes and like all the accessories, a lot of cameras. I brought two big cameras with me, extra lenses. On the RMP, what I did was I mounted three pouches. One pouch was full of camera batteries and microphones, the little lavalier microphones. The other pouch housed all my swag, patches, business cards, and stickers. The other pouch was full of camera chart or battery chargers and cell phone chargers. So cables, you know, uh, lightning cables, USB-C cables. You can really use the RMP for anything. Anything. Anything? Anything. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. I'm very happy with the RMP. I think it's pretty cool. I do actually want to look into getting one of the behind the seat ones now because it'd be really cool to mount some travel accessories instead of having it all like rolling around the back seat. If you haven't noticed in some of my videos when I'm in my truck and filming, you can hear like bullet casings rattling, but I've got a fire extinguisher in there. I've got straps. I've got toe straps. I got a fire extinguisher and um, a bunch of ratchet straps and bungees and stuff. So if I can find a way to keep all that stuff organized on the back of the seat, that'd be pretty cool too. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, the Mr. Big Kid channel. It's all about firearms and barbecue. It's what I love and it's what I do. So thank you all and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Be safe.